didn't leave Sassafras uh, shelter until noon today after that hike from the NOC, which kicked me. I've just come to a view. I'm just lingering a few minutes to enjoy before heading back onto the trail to the next shelter. <laughs> I should be at Fontana Dam maybe tomorrow. Today is nine miles to the next shelter. And I have to double check. I think it's 12 miles from there to Fontana Dam where I'll take a zero day because and resupply and make sure I get a shower and do my laundry and get a good rest because then I'll enter the Smoky Mountains and I don't know if I what my options are to step off trail in that until I get out of the Smokies. Not sure I'll look into that, but definitely want to resupply and get a shower. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I opted to um, get rid of as much things from my backpack as possible for this trip between the NOC and Fontana Dam. So I didn't bring my fuel or any cookable foods. I'm just going stoveless, so I'm just eating things that are already made, pup tarts and crackers and tuna packets and fruit roll-ups and <laughs> I don't know, healthy stuff like that. Um, I missed my coffee this morning though, although that instant isn't so yummy. Um, I was the only female at the shelter last night. And I hear from others that there are females out here, but I'm not meeting them. If I do their college, I meet them for a minute and they fly past me. But um, I'm really not meeting females, like, at all. That's disappointing. Um, I have to laugh because part of my lightening my backpack was getting rid of some toilet trees that I haven't used yet since I've been out here. And uh, deodorant, which, you know, is heavy. So I'm like, ah, I can do without that. <sighs> I can't stand my own smell. <laughs> So I might add that back in. Uh, it's not as hot today as yesterday, and the climb is not as high. It's mostly straight and down. There were some climbs that we'll see as the day goes on. I've just arrived at Locust Gap, just a little camp area. Sitting on a log. I'm gonna pull out probably some spam and crackers, but have some lunch and rest my foot maybe 20 minutes and then head back out trying to get to the shelter. It's five and a half more miles. Um, to most people, you know, I keep saying I go so slow. Most people average about two miles an hour. So if they hike eight hours a day, they get 16 miles. And it seems the people I'm talking to are creeping up to that anywhere from 14, 15, 16 miles a day. And I'm still at eight or nine. So I'm like half where they are. And I'm really trying to think about what this trek means to me and really wrap my brain around the difference between an actual through hike and getting to Maine or just doing the best I can and getting as far as I can. Because they do close the mountain in October and I do have responsibilities and Just, I just don't feel that I am getting stronger in my lungs and my legs at the same rate as so many other hikers. And that may not be accurate, but those are the ones that I'm meeting. I'm not meeting women out here. I have friends who say that they're out here and they meet them, but I'm not meeting them. I prom I will take pictures. I will grab onto them, the first woman I see. I'm not seeing any. I was the only woman at the shelter last night um, a couple nights ago, the last shelter I was at, I can't remember the name of it, it's all a blur. There was only one other girl and she was in her maybe 20s and um, everybody else was men. Um, and there were probably 15 people there. So I don't know. I'm really trying to think, you know, what parts of this I'm enjoying, what parts I'm not enjoying. Do I want to really, really focus on finishing in Maine or just getting as far as I can? If I go real slow, then that lessens my chance of meeting people because most people are on a trek to go more miles per day. So it's just, it's just a lot to think of. Um, the shelter's still five and a half miles ahead. 
And you know, remember, I'm not on a sidewalk going straight. It's up and down and up, 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 and then down, down, down. With rocks and boulders and roots and climbing, climbing, climbing. So it takes a long time. I'm just thinking. I'll have some spam. I've opted for tuna and Ritz crackers instead of spam. Not that spam's not lovely. Well, lunch is cut short because it's starting to rain and I hear thunder. So I shall keep walking. Ah, short lunch. It's kind of eerie. Looking at this video, it actually looks light, but it's really cloudy and rainy and the thunder's loud, but I don't see any lightning. So I just wanna see if I can't get to that shelter or the next designated camp area in a gap, maybe. So I'm not so high in elevation if it's gonna lighten. But it's an, an eerie uh, light. It's an eerie light. Ooh, there was lightning. <laughs> Mommy. No thunder? I think that means it's far away, right? Yeah. So there was several seconds. I just want to get lower elevation. And first thing I see, doesn't matter if it's the shelter, I'll stop. That was the wildest ride. I think I've ever had. Oh, I'm at Sequoia Gap. It started raining. I probably should have just stayed at that um, little campground where I was starting to have lunch, but I gathered my things and wanted to just get moving. Um, trying to get down lower into elevation where I was resulted in no success at all. Um, I was just on the ridge, so there was nowhere to camp. There was, um, where I did see some areas where I could just pitch a tent and get out of the rain, they were widow makers. There were dead trees. There were actually trees that in the past looked like they had been struck by lightning or just died and fell down in some cases. Um, so there was nowhere for me to just take shelter and I was quite near the top up at one point the thunder and lightning was pretty intense the light lightning flash would just blind me and then thunder was immediately after and, and I'll be honest I was actually very scared and just adding to whether I want to stay on this trip or not because it was really scary and I don't want to be alone all the time all the time if I had a friend or if I just met somebody stuck rather than just for a couple days, it would be different. I thought it was scary, but I got out of it and I lived and I feel like an idiot crying all the time. I could easily just call a shuttle, get somewhere safe for the night and then just f find my way back home. I guess the most important thing is the question that I really can't answer. Why am I here? Why am I hiking? And I've been struggling with that. There's a lot of reasons and there's no reasons all at the same time. I know that I don't feel ready to go home and when I feel good, I feel great. When it's a good day, it's a fantastic day. But when it's a bad day, it's a bad day. And it seems that those are more and more. I'm not in pain today. I mean, my foot's sore, but it's not ridiculous. Right now, I just basically feel out of breath when I'm going uphill and my legs are achy and sore because it's been five hours of walking and that's pretty much every hiker in the world. But every other person who left the shelter today is already at the next shelter and I'm not. And I still have two more hours and it might get, if I, yeah, it's gonna start getting dark. 
So I just came out of the woods over here and I would cross the street and get back on the AT across the street. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to do that and go a couple hours and depending on the terrain, for me, it could be more than that and then it will be dark and I don't know what to do. I wish I had someone with me because I'm really quite silly. I'm very silly and happy. I could be having fun, but it's not fun doing this stuff alone all the time. The good part of the rain was after the rain. It was my phone. I have a waterproof case that I just took apart just to make the phone work as it wasn't accepting my fingerprint. My fingers were all waterlogged and I think the case was a little loose or something, but so I couldn't take photos, which is actually good because at that point I just wanted to get off the mountaintop in the thunderstorm. Um, but I saw the most beautiful colors. Wow. There were these rock formations that were just gorgeous, just on the side of the mountain. And then as the rain stopped, it was just foggy. The, you know, I was in the, in the clouds and the green, I've never seen anything so green, the way the light, the sun was peeking through the trees and it was just neon and I wanted to capture it in a photo so I could remember, but I guess I'm just gonna have to remember this pea brain of mine. So I don't have any photos. I was sopping wet. I, um, <laughs> see my outfit. I threw on my, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> My, my, no, you can't. Ah, my rain skirt and my fancy shoes. <laughs> ah, I'm not sure what to do. But the sun's out now. Oh, I'll think. That's what I'll do. I'll think. Thank you.